Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. So last night we did a roasted spatchcock chicken with roasted vegetables, a one pan meal. So what I've done is I've chopped up, taken the rest of the meat off the bone, chopped it up. I've added some onion and celery. And if you have grapes or dried cranberries, you can add that as well. The more you can add to it, the further it will stretch. I don't have any grapes, that's my favorite to add. And this is going to be our dinner tonight and I'm going to do the roasted vegetable soup. So that's all I've done with the chicken. The chicken was seasoned really nicely last night, so if you want to add more salt and pepper and all that, you can. And now I'm going to get every bit of mayonnaise out of this jar. It's almost empty. And you can add mayonnaise, mustard, whatever you like in your chicken salad. I just like mayo. And if I had grapes, they would 100% be in this chicken salad. So we're going to have chicken salad sandwiches and roasted vegetable soup for dinner. He's already had lunch with it. Same thing we had for dinner last night. So squeezing every penny out of this meal. Let's make a mess. So just stir that in there. Like I said, you can add salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever seasonings you like in your chicken salad, parsley. Just stir that up and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and when we're ready getting closer to dinner time I will make the roasted vegetable soup. This is the olive oil mayonnaise. Just using what I already have opened up, making sure I use every bit of it. So, making a mess. But if you've been here for a while, I am good at messes. Okay. those edges off, put a lid on that, put it in the refrigerator, and we will come back when we're making the soup. Don't mind all this, I just did a Misfits box opening. Hey everybody, so now we're moving on to the uh, soup. So here's our veggies, and I have my handy dandy blender. I have a jar of broth. You can also use bouillon and make you some broth. These are two cups. Really just want to use what will... Uh, sorry I bumped you. For Use as much as you want to make it the consistency you want. And then I have this milk that I'm going to put in at the end.
these veggies smell good. So we're going to add our leftover veggies. This is from our dinner last night. You can add some garlic to this. But we seasoned them pretty good. Last night, so have my veggies in there. Let's see if I can move you back. Move my peanuts and butter. Here's my opener. Gotta find my handy dandy. There it is. In front of my face. Hey. Hey. Never fails. So I'm going to add about half that broth. And then I'll I'm going to turn it on and puree it until it's creamy so I will be back and show you because you don't want to hear that. Okay so this is the consistency right now. I'm going to add the rest of that broth. So for these veggies we're going to use the full two cups. I'll be back after we blend this up. Okay, so let me move this. And I made it very creamy and smooth. You can make yours the texture you want. And the thickness that you want. Going to add this to our pot. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that and some of this Nor chicken granule and that's for flavor and salt about a teaspoon and I'll add some water to this to rinse that out Could have just put that seasoning in the pot. I don't know why I put it in there. Okay. We're gonna go over here to this burner. Stir that up. Wash my hands and rinse my spoon. taste mm. so good you guys I'm gonna add just a smidge more this is all to your taste I'm gonna add some pepper yeah. 
You could use white pepper if you like, if you don't want to see the specks in there. Stir it up. I'm going to add some of our milk. Let's see how this thing opens. You could add cream, half and half. Uh, you could add your canned crema, whatever you have. And we are just going to let this heat up, taste it for seasoning. You can add garlic, onion powder, but I have the onion and everything. The roasted onion is in there. You could add parsley if you wanted some thyme, but those veggies were seasoned really nice, and with the chicken flavoring, olive oil, salt and pepper, so I'm going to let this heat up, I'm going to make our sandwiches, and I will show it to you when it's ready, if you have some croutons, or want to make some croutons, you can put those on top. Those are really yummy on top. I've done that before too. So I will see you when this is hot and ready. So I have some fresh sage in the refrigerator from my last Misfit order. So I'm going to chop some of this up. Roll it up. Mm, it smells good. bit to the soup and then I'll sprinkle a little bit on top so that's just an afterthought because I had it in the refrigerator okay so here is our soup dish that up oh there go the dogs again and here we have our sandwich and our soup. TV. And we're going to put a sprinkle of sage on the top. Plus I added some to it and there we have dinner and it's bubbling. And I'm going to make my bowl of soup. And I'm talking loud because he has the TV loud. And I don't need that on my video. I'll be right back. Get that off there. It's bubbling away. So here's our soup. This is my bowl. Sprinkle a little sage on there. Mix it in. And I'm blowing on this because I've burned my tongue every night. So good, you guys. This is so good. You have to try it. Even if you just roast some vegetables for this soup, you have to try it. It's yummy. It's super easy. A blender, a pot, and some root vegetables, and you've got soup. So, here's 
our final product. Got some crackers, chicken salad sandwich, and roasted leftover veggie soup. So a very tasty way to use up your leftovers. So if you have any questions, post them down below. You stay safe, stay healthy, and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.